In a continuation of my Accents of Westeros series, it's time to turn to Essos, starting with Bravos, that city of crime and high finance, and suspect brothels. Sirio Pharrell, the flamboyant dancing master that started Arya on her journey that would culminate in this pile of cringe, speaks with a very over-the-top accent that has its roots in the Mediterranean. Tomorrow you will catch it. Now pick it up. That is not the way, boy. It is not a great sword that is needing two hands to swing it. As he revealed in an interview, he based a lot of it on his father's Greek accent. Jack and Hagar, the shape-shifting stealth assassin with the 90s grunge hair, sounds quite German. Yes, too. They have no courtesy. Men must ask forgiveness. Mm. You're called Ari. Taicho Nestoris is just Mark Gattis playing Mark Gattis, like he's done in pretty much every TV role since The League of Gentlemen. Welcome to the Iron Bank. Please. The Waif, that moody girl who gives Arya a hard time then turns into a T-1000, speaks with a standard TV posh accent. It will all be over soon. On your knees or on your feet. The brothel madam that caters to Marin Trant's Jimmy Savile style perversions also speaks with an RP accent. Of course. Of course. Jesus show, you're in a completely foreign country to Westeros, are you really this bland when it comes to character voices? The Thin Man, the loan shark scammer that rips off sailors, speaks with a sort of cockney accent in an Albert Steptoe style way. Best in the city. You wouldn't lie to an old man, would you? The acting troupe that Arya watches perform plays in Bravos are an interesting bunch. Let's take a look at what each of them sound like, both in and out of character. It's all getting quite meta, isn't it? Isambaro, played by none other than Richard E. Grant, speaks like a sort of aged Whitnail, the same posh anger and frustration wrapped up in a giant ego. You can do better, Bianca dear. You must do. I had two lines. There are no small parts. You rang very false. His portrayal of King Robert comes with a theatrical northern accent, much like the real one. Oh! Murdered by a boar! The great big hairy whore! Bobono the dwarf that plays Tyrion sounds much the same whether he's on stage or off. Well spoken southern English. He proclaims me hand of the king! The position's mine for life. And he's given me permission to take Sansa as my wife! <gasps> Certainly a lot better than Peter Dinklage's accent. Lady Crane sounds as posh as Cersei when she's playing the part, but in private it's a bit more rough around the edges and has traces of an Australian accent. I feel the winds of winter as they lick across the land, and our son alone on that cold, cold throne, without a guiding hand. You need to know that if we're going to be intimate. Of course we're going to be intimate. It's only a matter of time. Bianca, the murderous understudy with designs on the Cersei role, sounds equally well-spoken in RP, both in and out of the play. My father! Truly you should. Killing the man will do you no good. Save him, please! I rang very false. Clarenzo, who gives us an eye full of his warts, is exceedingly posh when playing Joffrey, but sounds much more estuary off stage. Good people, you may all relax. My father's friend shall be spared this. <laughs> it's a wart. And lastly, Camello, played by the underrated British comedy mainstay Kevin Eldon, has a hilarious turn playing Ned Stark with an exaggerated northern accent. I'd ask him for permission, but he smells too bloody awful! <laughs> Behind closed doors, he sounds well-spoken, if not completely RP. Well, don't worry, love. They usually go away in five or six years. Oh, watch this, darling. Oh. Stinks of me. You'd think with all the Italian-sounding names the players had, you'd get at least one non-English accent, but nope. Tenicio Terris, the captain of the Titan's Daughter, the trading ship that takes Arya to Bravos, speaks with a sort of nondescript European accent. You're seeing him. I want to go north, to the wall. No, you don't. Overall, I'm awarding Bravos four fake Ned heads out of seven. Join me next time when there will be more of this sort of thing. Bye then.